In this video, I'm going to be setting up my blog page for the Astra theme. In one of my recent tutorials, we installed the Gutenberg template site. And here's the site here that I use um, that I installed the template for. And it didn't come with a blog page. So I figured I would set up the blog page and link this as a resource for the uh, tutorial. If you want to learn how to install one of these Gutenberg template sites, I will leave the link in the video description. But anyway, we log in and we go to our dashboard. The first thing we knew, need to do is make a page. So let's add new. And I'm going to call this, you call it blog. I'm going to call it posts. And it's just an empty page. So go ahead and click publish. Okay, so now you have an empty page, and we are going to set that page as the blog page. It's also called an archive page, and that just means this is the location where all of the posts will be accessible. Like your most recent posts, you want the archive page to be um, sort of in your menu if you write blog posts and stuff like that. So we will next go to Let's see, it was settings, reading, and right here, posts page, select posts, save it, okay, good. Now, how are they going to access that? So, I could put it in the menu, so let's go to appearance, and customize. So the first thing I'll do is I'll put my blog page in the menu by clicking this little thing, configure menu, primary menu, edit menu, add an item, find our page, where is it? Posts. Okay, so we just added it to the menu. Okay, great. You can adjust it um, if you want by, um, but we don't need to at all. So we're we're ready to go with with our blog page. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do was to if you're using the Astra theme, you have this blog option here, and this is the archive page, and this is where you can include certain things within the um, within the widget. So or within the the post. So when I click the page. Um, it's looking like it's completely empty because I don't have any posts. Let me get a post real quick. Show you what I mean. So this was a draft. I'm just gonna, um, I guess I'll do one more. Test paid post. Okay, so you, you type your post, and also don't forget, um, right here in the settings for the post, put in a featured image for your post, because that'll show up in the blog page as well. So you publish that, and um, maybe I'll do the featured image too. I don't have it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I added a featured image. Okay, great. Let's go to our site, posts. All right, so this is the image I used is a little too big, and here's the post here. And here is the metadata here. So when we go to our customizer, And we're going to blog, blog page. So if you want the comment category and author, these blue links here, you can also remove them. And the publish date. You can add a tag uh, or show the tags if you added tags to your post. And then you can also put in the excerpt that shows up. So, um, 
let's see you can not show the featured image and so right now it's 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 a one column thing if you go to design you can adjust the uh, the title and the post title font size so these guys here but um yeah so if you want this to be not as large you just use a smaller photo and um, it'll end up looking better but it'll list all your posts like that and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for making your post page um, usually don't do the sidebar on the post page once they click on the post you you got your sidebar there so once you get your uh, this is your single post page so that's adjusted in the blog single post page right here and then the sidebar you would adjust right here for uh, your right sidebar that's where you show it and then you click these widgets to adjust them If you have any questions leave them in the comments and if you are interested in installing one of these Gutenberg templates I will leave the, uh, the link in the description thanks